Hello friends. Today is Monday, September 11th, and uh, we're going to do a little something different today here at Amy Pagan Art. Um, okay, so um, as most everybody um, knows, today is a day of remembrance, um, particularly if you live in the United States. Um, it is the anniversary of the attacks um, on um, September 11th of 2001. Um, and something you might not know about me is that I was actually a resident of New York City at the time. Um, so today I thought um, in honor um, and memory of uh, that day that today we will do a big apple. It'll be a little apple because it's on our page, but it's in remembrance of the big apple, uh, one of my former homes and um, a lovely, beautiful city. Um, okay, so um, we are also going to do a little something different in that um, when I first started this class, how many years ago? I don't remember. Um, we, I would do drawings and paintings. Um, today, I have our painting to show you, and I'm going to demonstrate with colored pencils. Um, and uh, just to, you know, shake stuff up a bit, but I will be walking you through how to do this as a painting as well. Um, so no worries. We're gonna get the shape, we're gonna get the colors, and we're gonna talk about the differences between um, using watercolors and colored pencils. Obviously there's several differences. Um, okay, so um, once again, my name is Amy Pagan. This is Amy Pagan Art, and I do a free art class online every Monday for the past many, many Mondays um, since the pandemic began. Um, all right, so in order to get <laughs> the, and the added uh, special effects, uh, the noise effects are um, my various cats and dogs who are here with me today. Um, okay, so uh, before we start class today, we need to uh, talk about why we do class, just real quick, and uh, the reason that we <laughs> Um, have this class is so that we can all start off our week with a little bit of art, um, a nice happy way to start our week, a nice relaxing way to start our week. Um, so this is about um, relaxing, being creative, and uh, being happy. So with that in mind, you are not allowed to criticize yourself. Just keep going. Um, only happy thoughts while we're doing this and um, only kind thoughts to yourself and to others. Do not compare your work to others. If you agree, give me a big heart or a thumbs up. And since today's class is pre-recorded, I'm gonna trust you. I know you're doing it. Um, okay, <laughs> so um, this painting here was uh, done on a four by six piece of cold press, 140 pound watercolor paper. Um, you use whatever you've got. Um, I like using uh, Canson paper. That's what I used here, um, and that's what I'm gonna do here. Um, puppies, all puppies be quiet, thank you. Um, so, let's get this started. All right, our shapes that we have. No. Okay, we, we have a little dog and cat showdown going going in, the, uh, in this room behind me. Um, <laughs> If you hear my occasional corrections, it's not y'all, it's the puppy. Um, okay, so our apple here, we tend to think of apples as being a circle. They're not quite a circle. Um, you can see it's almost like we have three ovals here. So I want you to think about it that way. Um, and that's how we're gonna get all these nice variations of shape. Um, again, we think of apples as being all one color, but if you grab an apple and look at it, you'll see it actually has lots of little lines with variations in color, and that's what we're gonna focus on. And the same with the leaf. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start with a number two pencil. Oh, and by the way, if you have not already, please say hi in the comments so I know you're here. Um, and yeah, yeah, and let me know if you have any questions. I will uh, pop in to look for questions um, if you have any. Um, all right, so how big is our apple? Let's measure it with a finger. And <laughs> y'all, the little noises of, um, of disappointment coming from my dog as she stares at the cat. Okay, one, two, three knuckles. So as long as my pointer finger. And we're just gonna put it right here in the middle. So I want you to think about it. First, we're gonna make a circle. And you can just, you know, 
just wing it. It's not gonna be perfect. And it's not gonna be our final shape anyway. Um, oh, and let me make this a little bit darker. Um, I want you to make your light, your lines very light. I'm gonna make mine a bit darker so that you can see them. Okay, so now that we have kind of like an idea, right, of how big our circle is, it's, you know, a finger this way, a finger that way. Now, we're gonna actually make it look more like an apple. So it's more narrow at the bottom here, and it's a little bit fatter at the top. So what we're gonna do is do a big rounded triangle. So I'm just going over that. Okay, I've got one triangle there, another rounded triangle, and another one. And that leaves me, look at these three little bumps here at the bottom. Can you see that? Okay, and that means up here at the top, this is our actual shape. And then one thing we need to think about is uh, where the stem is, the apple actually dents inward. So we are going to do a little crescent shape right here at the top to show us where it dents in. And that crescent shape is gonna be about one and a half knuckles wide. I'm getting so much love from all my dogs right now, you guys. I've got one trying to curl underneath my feet. This is why generally when I'm doing it live, the doggies are not here. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna use my kneaded eraser and I'm gonna take out some of these lines that I don't need. Um, and if you want to take your eraser and make um, your lines less dark, if you feel like they got a little dark, you can totally do that. Okay. So that's what we've got now. Oh, and this, uh, sorry, I didn't even tell you how far down this crescent is. Okay, it's about a thumbprint. So give yourself like a little fingerprint, okay? And then put it right here. Got it. One knuckle wide, one fingerprint down right there in the middle. And now we're going to um, start adding some of our color and then we'll go back in and add our leaf, okay? Or maybe, we, you know what, some of you are painting, so let's go ahead and do our leaf now. Okay, so we're going to do a little stem. So here's our crescent and we're gonna make a little stem that comes up like this. It is a curvy line. So I kind of started right there in the middle of our little crescent little curvy line and that curvy line is two knuckles long and then um, so here's the top of my apple I'm going to come up more towards the top of my stem and I'm going to make that leaf shape that we make kind of like a raindrop so we use one curvy line comes to a point here curvy line there okay so now we've got all that ready and we're going to grab some color okay so let's talk about our colors where we have the dip in in our apple, we're gonna have a bit of a shadow, so we're gonna use a little bit of brown, but we're also gonna use some green. And one thing that I want you to notice is all of our negative space. So that's where you see the white. So we are gonna to wanna to leave some white spaces to show where our apple shines. Okay, let's do the easy part first. Grab that red colored pencil, and we are just gonna come around here on our edge and we're gonna do some red. And we're gonna start down here at this little bump. And we're gonna do a little more red, bringing it up. And we're gonna do a little here. Now I'm gonna leave this part, let's see. We'll go right there. And then let's leave a little bit, just uh, maybe like a fingerprint's worth on the side so that we can add in other color. All right, now, when we are putting our color in our apple, whether you're painting or drawing, you're going to want to follow along with the shape of the apple. And that's so that we get all of our lines, make the apple look more 3D. Um, so just pretend like you are petting your apple. And let's go ahead and put in some red. I'm going to leave a little space there. Remember we were talking about those white. So see this right here, this little crescent? I'm not gonna put any red in there. I'm gonna leave that empty and I'm just going to pet my apple with the red um, and occasionally particularly if you are painting I want you to remember to leave some white space here is the crescent we're gonna leave a white space all the way around that crescent 
okay? And maybe coming in a little bit as well. So a little bit of curve in. And just put in your red. You guys, I can't wait to see what you've done after class today. I'm very excited to see what you create. Okay, and I'm just filling that in and see how I came down, 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 down. So we're still following that shape. All right, now we're not done with our red, but let's go ahead and add in some of our accent colors. So I'm gonna take a yellow and I'm going to do some little crescent shape, little crescent lines. Let's do some right there. Let's do some coming up off the top of the apple. It doesn't matter how big or how little you make them. You just wanna do some. And you see I've got one big line here and then I'm doing some little lines coming out. Just make sure that you continue to do that curvy shape. I'm gonna come over here with my yellow and just put in as many little highlights as you want. Always following with the shape of your apple. I'm gonna grab some green and I'm gonna come here on the edge of that little crescent and I'm gonna do some little curvy lines with my green and maybe coming up out of that curvy spot, that little indentation, I'm gonna do a little bit of green coming up and over. Maybe a little bit of green down here, not a lot because this is not a green apple, but all apples are gonna have variations in color. Okay, and now I'm gonna add more red. Whenever I say it like that, I imagine that it is spelled M-O-A-R. Now, one of the lovely things about colored pencils and watercolors is that you can just go over those colors and it'll blend and give you new colors, new shades. And I'm just gonna continue doing curvy lines, whether I'm painting or drawing. And maybe I'm gonna leave a little space in here. See right here, I'm just gonna leave that because I've decided that's where it's gonna be shiny. It's gonna be shiny here and here and right at the crescent. And we're just gonna keep, keep filling in. This is where I feel like colored pencils and watercolor are so soothing because at this point you can just do mindless coloring. Kind of leave, leave the rest of the world behind while you have your little zen moment. Color, color. So, good news for those of us who live down this way. Um, we're getting a cold front, and by cold front, I just mean it's not going to be in the hundreds uh, for a few days, which is awesome. I hope that y'all got to experience some of the rain that came through recently. Color, color, color. It's interesting because we're doing the same project. It's just using a different medium and we're gonna get an image that looks similar, but it's not the same. I think it's really interesting. All right, I'm gonna grab my brown and I'm just gonna follow my stem line here. Now, one of the things that um, apple stems do, they are gonna be a little bit fatter at the bottom where it touches the apples. So go ahead and make that a little bit fatter. And then we're gonna have these little knobs where the um, stem connected to other stems on the tree. And we can just do that by doing a little bloop, a little, uh, little circle, little sphere right there. And then I want you to take this same brown and remember to leave that white, beautiful crescent. But just give yourself a little bit of shadowing here with some brown. If you are using watercolors, you can use brown, but you can also take green and blue um, and mix those together, see what you get. Try out some different things. And then maybe take a little bit just down here at the bottom, just to kind of even up our color balance so that when our eyes look at this, uh, it feels balanced. Just a bit. If you don't even really know it's there, it just kind of makes things a little bit darker. Ta-da! 
that. Okay, I'm gonna grab some green and I'm gonna move my paper a little bit so that I can make a beautiful line right down the center of my leaf. And that's that vein that goes right in the middle of the leaf. It's a little bit fatter here where it touches the stem. And then it has some little lines that come out. Just little curvy lines. And then we're just gonna shade in our leaf. And again, we're gonna follow the shape of the leaf with our curvy lines. And something I like to do to give my leaves depth is I pick one side to be darker than the other. And then you kind of want to give it a little bit of texture here on the side. So I'm just going to pull out a few little lines. There we go. And it makes it look more alive. You can grab some other colors if you want. You can add a little yellow into your leaf. And then if you're feeling really adventurous, grab a little blue. The blue is gonna make it darker. So come right up the center with that blue. And then maybe leave a few of those indentations where that, uh, where it would be darker, where the leaf kind of bends in due to the veins. If you do that, if you're gonna use some blue, remember to come down here and just add a little bit of blue. It will blend in, it's not gonna look blue, blue but that will help your eye with the balance of your drawing. And now since we left some little white spaces here, we see that it gives us a reflection right here as well, and right here where the apple curves. Um, you can also take that blue if you want and make your stem a little bit darker. No matter what medium you're using, um, I think it's always helpful to have a variety of colors. You can, um, you know, you can stick with the colors that um, the suppliers gave you, you know, like just brown for brown and yellow for yellow. But I think it's nice when we mix in different colors, it just gives our eye more to examine, more to look at, and it makes the art a little more interesting. Um, so try it, try mixing in different colors to see what you get. I'm even gonna make this a lot. And I'm just going to color in a little bit of blue, just lightly, um, with my colored pencil. Okay. And then I can sign my name. Um, if you would please, after class today, would you please take a picture of your work, uh, no matter what medium you use, painting or crayons or colored pencils or markers, and uh, snap a pic. You can either share it in the comments of this video or you can um, send it to me on a DM. I would love to see it. Um, please also send me um, your requests for upcoming classes. We will have a castle coming up. That was a request to go with our dragon that we did previously. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, um, also, I totally forgot to ask, but I know you guys are really good about this, um, particularly our friend Jenna. Um, do you have any apple related jokes? Please leave them in the comments because hammy hammy jokes are always welcome and, um, and a good way to lighten up our day. I hope that you had fun in class today. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your Monday and I hope that you have a beautiful, amazing week. Please remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Um, sometimes it's easy to remember to be kind to others and forget to be kind to ourselves. So remember to be kind to yourself I appreciate you. I'm glad you joined me today. Um, and I will see you right back here at Amy Pagan Art on Facebook and YouTube next Monday at noon. Um, you guys take care. Have a fabulous week. Um, many, many blessings to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.